Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna build this absolutely beautiful meter box. Big thanks to the meter box. You can check them out at themeterbox.com. And if it's currently July, 2022, while you're watching this video, they're also doing a really great giveaway right now. All the details will be at the end of this video and linked down in the description below. All right, so let's get started. You're looking at everything you need in order to build one of these power meters. So the first thing is you're gonna need some type of box to house the electricity and the meter and the outlet and all that. And we're gonna use this one from the meter box. You can see the lid comes off, gives me easy access to get electrical ran inside there. And taking a look, it's got an outlet on the top for me to run the cable out of. And we'll go through that a little later in this video. It also has some holes if you'd like to mount this, you know, wherever your location is, whether to a wall or a stud, whatever you'd like to do. You also can get a faceplate that's going to go for a 30 amp version. I have a video building that. I'll leave it linked up in the card above. But for this video, we're going to go with the standard house outlet. And what I have here is I have a 20 amp outlet and that's going to sit right inside that box. And in order to measure the electricity I'm using, I have a meter right there. Links for all this stuff will be down in the description below, of course. And then in order to connect the meter to the outlet itself, I just have some two wires here. These are 18 gauge wires, really thin, which are going to be really easy to work with inside here. You can definitely use higher gauge wires, whatever you have on hand. I've done that in the past. They're just a little harder to work with. Now I'm going to make this portable. So what I've chosen to do is use essentially what's half of an extension cord. So this is going to be able to plug into any outlet I have here at my house. And on the other end of that is going to be my gra uh, ground, my neutral, and my hot. They're going to go into the receptacle inside this box. Now, there's one thing I want to call out. I mentioned earlier, this is a 20 amp receptacle, but this cable that I'm going to be using is only rated for 15 amps. So I am going to be limited to 15 amps right now. It's all I have on hand, but that's going to be okay for my purposes here. So let's get to building. All right. So the first step is I'm going to take the lid here and I'm going to mount this meter inside it. So I'm going to get that right through there and then just snap it down into place. And you can see that is really solid. That's not going anywhere. So with that done, I want to work on the actual receptacle itself. So first thing I need to do is take this housing and I'm going to run these cables through it. Now, what I'm going to do is have it so it can sit up like this. So I'm going to run the cable out of the top, but just be mindful of how you might want to run this, where you want to configure the lid. But this is what I'm planning to do uh, for this specific build. So I'm going to get this in here give me some room to work with. I've already got everything stripped down to where I should need it. It's going to give these wires a twist. To get all of that copper looking really good. And what I need to do is I'm going to connect the ground and neutral first. So let me do that. So just looking on the receptacle here, you can see obviously the green is ground. I've never worked with this plug before. It's a weird looking receptacle. So where does this ground go? Actually, I don't know. Okay. And then I'm going to do the neutral wire, which is the white wire and get it connected to the silver screw over on this side. Let's do that. Now, what I need to do with this as well is run one of these leads. So I'm just going to do this red one. I'm going to run that right underneath with that white neutral wire. Okay, I like giving it a couple twists because usually it'll come loose and you got to tighten it down a little bit more. Now, the reason I saved the hot for last is because I do need to loop over the ring from the actual meter itself. And that's how it's going to read the amount of electricity that's being used. So let me get that loop through there. And then got that inserted into the outlet along with the other lead here. In this case, I'm gonna use a black one. All right, now that those are all installed nice and snug and I have the two leads coming out, I'm gonna mount the actual outlet to the front of this box. And I got some matching hardware. 
that comes with the meter box that's going to allow me to do that. So I'm going to get that installed here. Okay, moving along. So one of the next things I'm going to do is connect these two leads over to the actual meter itself. Um, so I'm just going to loosen the two screws that it has on the top that it uses to clamp down on those wires. And you can see on the actual meter, there are two uh, outlets for me to plug these leads into. So I'm going to do that. And then there's a screw right on the top. That's just going to allow me to clamp that wire down inside there. And then same thing with the other one. So here's the final look at the inside of this box. So just to recap, we've got the extension cord coming in. That is all going to the outlet around the hot wire. We have the meter is looped around there. And then we have the two leads coming off of both the hot and neutral that go into the meter itself. Now, the only other thing you want to make sure is that everything's really compact, neat and tidy. So it fits really nice and easy back in the housing itself. So let's do that. I'm going to yank this extension cable back a little bit. And then we're going to get this seated right in here. And like I said, in my case, I'm going to have it fit just like this. That's looking really nice, actually. Uh, and then last thing I have to do is just take the rest of the hardware and get this box screwed together. And there it is. All complete. Final look at the meter box. You can check out the build right there. So next thing I need to do is plug it in, plug something into it, make sure it works. Good news. It works. It's plugged into the test bench right now that has the A2000 on it. And we are reading somewhere between 95 to 100 watts on the meter. Looking really, really good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful. If you're building one of these things, hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord or follow me on social media. Links are down in the description. Also check out the meter box. The link for that is down in the description below. As always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to roll the ad for the meter box right now. So that's how we're going to see this one out. Peace, guys. The Meter Box, a familiar product to this channel, is back with a new lid that finally offers a solution for home miners using a standard 125 volt outlet to measure their power usage in real time. It's available now on their website. Use the link in the description for a discount off your next order. Because of the new lid, they're now running their biggest giveaway yet for the entire month of July, giving away over $7,000 worth of prizes like an iPolo V1 Mini Classic Plus, a 3600 watt X12 Octo Miner, tons of meter boxes, limited edition NFTs, and a bunch of stuff from GPURisers.com. Check out their new meter box and enter this amazing giveaway, no purchase necessary. You may also purchase items for additional entries and even better chances to win. The meter box contest is worldwide, extending through the entire month and ending on July 31st. Winners will be announced publicly on August 5th.